Hello everyone, welcome to another episode and probably the last episode of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode we completed Colbjorn Barrow, uh, turns out Rallis was a no-gooder. Uh, we put, 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 put him to sleep, you know, he kind of deserved it after killing so many people, to be honest. Uh, we also took his very unique pickaxe, which is now ours. But in this episode we are going to be continuing with the main quest, the Gardener of Men, with Nell's help, help I gained access to the Black Book in the Chardak. I read it and was transported to Maeus Mora's realm of Apocrypha, where I found the book's counterpart. And Maeus Mora himself appeared and taught me the second word of Bend Will. He has promised to teach me the third word, but only in return for the secrets of the skull. Well, we need to go and find the secrets of the skull, don't we? So we need to talk to Storm, and hopefully he'll be willing to give up his secrets, because otherwise we're not going to be able to, uh, you know, continue. So, hello Storm. I'm just gonna make, make a little hot save here. There we go, thank you very much. Hi! So, the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. Yeah, I think there's bigger things going on than the dragons right now, but okay. I spoke to Hermaeus Mora. He asked for the secrets of the Skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. He said it's the only way he'll teach me the final word of Mirak's shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The tree stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. You mean you'll give him what he wants? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Herma Mora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets. But also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Herma Mora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil. Against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Mirak's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. At last, the skull healed of their secrets to me. Dragon. You have delivered me the gift I requested. 
In return, I'll keep my promise as befits a prince of oblivion. I give you the word of power that you need to challenge Mirak. You will be either a worthy opponent or his Hmm, successor, as the tides of fate decree. Father! What have you done? Okay, so we did learn the final word of Ben Will, and he Go. didn't notice. My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then! Kill Mirak. Do not fail. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to talk, Freya. If you didn't notice, uh, the, you know, the dragon language, like the word, when we read it on the word wall, actually appeared on his chest uh, in green, which is very interesting. Um, so yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just take that back from you. You can keep your skull boots, though. Don't want your uh, toes to get all frosty. Um, so yeah, Storm is dead, um, which is a shame. He was very cool, but it is what it is, I suppose. So let's read our new quest. At the summit of Apocrypha, Emmaus Mora taught me the final word of power of Bend Will Shout, killing Storm in the process. I now have what I need to return to Apocrypha and face Mirak. Unlock your Bend Will Shout. Well, I will do just that. Which is here. There we go. So we already have Earth, but we need Mind and Dragon. Your voice bends the very stones to your will as it gains power. Animals, people, and even dragons must do your bidding. And how is our, how's our dragon aspect shout looking? There we go, we've got the second one. I'm not sure exactly where the third dragon aspect is, but that one's very cool nonetheless, and it will, become, will come in useful. So, we've unlocked the shout. Have we not? <laughs> yes? Yeah, there we go, just, just a delayed reaction. And now we need to read Waking Dreams, which we will indeed do. So, Waking Dreams, we have four black books, but we only need one of them. And let's go and face Mirak. I think this book is one of the longer ones. If I remember, there's quite a lot to do in this one. So hopefully we will get it all done in this episode. There we go. Reach Mirak's temple. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how big this one is, but I think it is big because it's kind of the main one. Um, so there's quite a lot to do. There's a pod over here. You got any, any goodies for me? Some gold? Yeah, yeah, okay, fine, I guess. Okay. There's no enemies yet, which is kind of suspicious. Very suspicious, actually. There's always enemies. I don't like it when there's no enemies. <laughs> it feels wrong, and I feel like something's going to jump out at me at any second. But hey, it is what it is. We've got some fonts of magic here, and this leads to chapter two. So let's go in. I don't know how many chapters there are, but probably quite a lot for this one. So anyone else here? Anyone going to try and stop me? I think so. Shouldn't there be some seekers here somewhere? We've got a scroll of fireball. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? And we've also got a whole load of powers... Uh, in our arsenal, under our belt, we've got, ooh, Harvest and Frostbite Spider Venom. And the Arcturian Heresy, that's fine, we don't need, we don't need books. Where are the enemies, seriously, is there, yeah, there we go, there's a Seeker, that's, that's more like it. <laughs> I was starting to get suspicious, I did not like that, not at all. See, I feel like, is there that, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how the Seeker's invisibility work, I just, I just don't get it, to be honest. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many hours I put into this game, I just still don't. I don't know, I just still can't wrap my head around the whole Seeker thing. It just doesn't make sense to me. But oh well, we killed them anyway, so that's fine, I suppose. It's the sort of thing I'm probably going to have to... Because I don't think I've ever... Oh, no, I must have. Yeah, no, I must have. I have played it on Legendary. I think I must have done the... Uh... Ah, take Boneless Links. Ah, yes, I remember this. Yeah, I've played, I've, uh, played on Legendary, which is just a whole different ball game, Legendary, because it's... Well, Legendary is just such a bullshit difficulty, honestly. <laughs> like, there's not really any winning, you just kind of have to cheese it a lot. But, yeah, I have done it. I've done most things on Legendary, so I must have come to Apocrypha. Um, I don't know, perhaps I just ran past the Seekers? I, I don't really remember that. I don't feel like I would have done that. I'm usually a very much, you know, a, a cover every single inch kind of person, so... I don't know, perhaps I just do not remember. But anyway, Chapter 3. I only have to deal with one seeker so far, which is still very sus, but hey. Oh, no, here we go. Here's another seeker. Can't see actually see them, but apparently they're here somewhere. See, like, is this the real seeker or not? I don't know. It seems like it. 
Yeah, it's weird. Oh wait. Oh, did I just walk past one before? <laughs> I don't know, I must have, but I don't know, unless it just spawned. I don't know, I feel like I just walked straight past that. It's weird because, you know, normally when things make duplicates of themselves, you can clearly tell what the duplicate is because it looks different, but the seekers don't. Uh, I think the only way you can possibly tell is maybe one of them has a slightly different magical effect around them, and that's the difference, but I don't know, because I, I can't tell, really. What have we got here? Delving pincers. Okay, I think we're looking for four different books, so we've got two. Um, and I think we have to place them on the right pedestals later on. Um, so we've got two so far. Uh, how do we move forward, though? Because there was another kind of closed off... Oh, did we loot this? No, we did not. Yeah, there was another, like, closed off section, and there, there was a scry through the door, but I don't know how to open the scry. How do I... Oh, okay, it's open, I guess. Oh, maybe when we took the, the book, it kind of acted as like a uh, like a pressure plate, I guess. Oh, okay, oh, it's one of these. Oh, I do not like that at all. <laughs> I hate that effect because it, it's just, it's really trippy. I do not like it. Not one bit. Oh, wow, look at that. It like faded and the, you know, the wall blocking has disappeared. That's really creepy. Yeah, I suppose it is a Daedric realm, so. Oh, we've already got Max enchanting. Yeah, Hermes Mora can do whatever he likes with his realm, I suppose. Okay, I've got another big room here. Any any more seekers? I'm sure sure there will be. Got another scry here. What does that do? Opens that door, I see. Anything in the pod? Ooh, an actual forge recipe, nice. I'm not gonna be using it, but I will take it anyway. So that door opened. We've got another door over there. We've got a pod here. Which it kind of looked like it was stuck behind the, the grate. Oh look, at, oh another Atronach Forge recipe, nice. Yeah, I think, oh you, you can find them in other places, but you seem to find a lot of the Atronach Forge recipes in Apocrypha. We have Prying Orbs, so that's book number three. I think there's just one more to find, and then we've got to do something with them. Um, ah, there we go, that door is open now as well. That must be what the other scry opened. We've got a chest in here, or a vessel. Star Rim Helmet of Extreme Restoration. Ah, uh, that's fine, we don't really need that. Op, 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 you, op, you lame bal. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> but there we go, that's fine. And then, is this like the top bit? Yeah, I think we were down there before, but now we're above. We're going up, which is, oh yeah, I wonder if we'll end up up there as well, we might. That's interesting, it's like a, a tiered dungeon sort of thing. Um, which is, you know, usually how dungeons work. You've got to make your way to the top, or how classic dungeons work. I remember playing all the mods in Minecraft, you know, where you had to get to the top of the dungeon, you know? You all know what I mean. Man, those were the days, eh? Just playing mods on Minecraft, that was... <sighs> the good old days, eh? Man, I love Minecraft yeah. so much. It, Minecraft is so good, honestly. I was going to say yeah. underrated, but it's not really, to be honest. Everyone loves Minecraft, let's be honest. Today it's great, and it still stands up to this day. And the, the amount of content they've added as well is amazing. Uh, who else is attacking me? Oh no, it's just a delayed reaction, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I, I've been playing Minecraft since there was, like, one type of wood, cobblestone, sand, <laughs> gravel, and, like, the just the base ores, and that was it. <laughs> but now they've got, like, concrete, and, uh, you know, like, like biomes, and the nether and stuff. They, they've got all sorts of stuff now. And it's, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> I, I remember back in the day when there were, like, 12 different blocks, and that was it. <laughs> And, you know, all the worlds were limited, so once you ran out of diamonds, that was it. It was just end of, you know, you, you were out and that was the end of it. But, yeah, man, how times change. <laughs> Minecraft is a great game, though. I know some people think it's cringy, but I love Minecraft. Uh, which way do we go? Right or forward? I'm not sure. Uh, is this gonna, is this wall gonna disappear again? Whoa! What the? Oh my god, that is so trippy. I hate that so much. Okay, well, I guess it... I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> doesn't seem to some doesn't seem to want us to go that way. What about this? Oh my god, I hate Ugh! I hate that so much. <laughs> so much. You have no idea how much I hate that. Well where the hell are we meant to? What the hell? Has this changed now? Is it Is this where we were before? No, this is new. What on earth? I am so confused. That was really tricky. Yeah. I hate it when the corridors like moving, yeah. expanding the track like that. It's yeah. so creepy. 
I do not like it. It makes my eyes go funny as well. I, what, like, what is down here? I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. It, it just wouldn't let me go down either corridor. I assume we haven't been here before. Well, ah, here we go. We've got another book. Gnashing Blades. Okay. I think that's all four books, if I am remembering correctly. So we've still got someone... Someone's still upset at me. But I don't know where. <laughs> They're in this direction, but I can't see them. So they must be in a different section. So, I mean, now can I go down the other passages? Because you wouldn't let me go down them before, game. So, like, am I allowed to go this way now? No? What about this way? Can I go this way? I don't understand. <laughs> Why won't it... Huh? I'm so confused. I really hope I haven't, like, broken it somehow. Why won't it... Oh, wait, what's this? Was this here before? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't remember this being so confusing. Usually it's pretty good at pointing you in the right direction. Yeah, no, this is new. Man, I get... Yeah, I got real, real turned around there. Okay, that's opening. Uh, what's over here, though? Is this... Wow, just a whole load of books. Every bookworm's dream, this is. Any skill books that look like it? Hey, no, no whipping me. I didn't give consent for that, not at all. Okay, this way it looks like. Uh, hopefully we'll find whoever's mad at me. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't like having a whole load of uh, red blips in the distance. I don't like it. I like, I like my compass to be clean of red blips. Whoa, hi! <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I really feel like, you know, usually when something's invisible, you can still kind of see them. Yeah. It's like an outline. Yeah, you just straight up can't see these secrets, unless you're just missing something. They just, I don't know, they just don't exist. <laughs> like, when they turn invisible. Okay. Okay, this is new, right? I think so. Got a font of stamina. Uh, okay, more, more, oh, hi, okay, we walked right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. They, they do actually, uh, the secrets have great camouflage, uh, because they're like the same colour. They're the same, like, greeny-grey colour as the surroundings. Um, so yeah, they, they have great camouflage techniques, I will, I will admit, whereas the lurkers are more purple, so they stand out better. They're also massive, obviously. <laughs> yeah, the seekers are very difficult to see for many reasons. Okay, I, I mean, I assume we're going the right way. Okay, we've got a spray here, what does that do? Ah, I see. Turns that corridor. Okay. Okay, see, that's good game design. Good good game design. You should be able to see what you did when you, you know, pull a lever or something. Okay, where is this leading me then? Onwards, I hope. <laughs> Man, how big is this thing? Whoa, okay. Please don't do that. That's not very, not very nice. We're going uphill. Is this... Okay, this looks new again. I don't... Like, wh when do we do something with the books? We've got... Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Is something going to come out of here? A lurker? No? I thought... What if I hit the scry? Is a lurker going to come out and say hello now? Well, that opened something. What did that open? Uh, oh, yeah, see, there we go. I knew a lurker was going to come out of there. It was just waiting for me to walk past it, I suppose. I see. Because you slept in too long, you know? We've all done it before. We've all done it. You know, especially, like, I love the fact that even though now I'm an adult, I still wake up in panic some days, thinking that I've overslept my alarm and missed school. Um, yeah, the, the lasting effects of school were very real. <laughs> yeah, very, very real. But you know, it's totally not traumatising, not at all. Not at all. But anyway, yeah, this lurker just overslept, you know. There we go, finish him off. You, you were a sentinel, but you didn't put up much of a fight, to be honest. So is there? Yeah, there we go, there's another strike through there. Let's also search this. Some good stuff. A whole load of books, as per usual. Uh, soul gems, which we don't really need, but they're shiny, so <laughs> I do. I do need them. On a, on a, I need them on a spiritual level. <laughs> I must collect all the shiny things at all times. I must. It, it is a need. Uh, a very, a deep felt need. Okay, chapter five. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're making pretty good time, but yeah, this one is a long one, which is, you know, kind of to be expected because it is kind of the main book. Ah, here. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Oh, we've got a high seeker here. Okay, you're a high seeker. What have you been smoking? Hmm? Clearly you've been smoking something. I mean, to be fair, you know, smoking smoking weed, reading a whole load of books in a massive yeah. endless library, but this seems like a pretty good time, to be honest, so I don't really blame them, but... If you, if you, um, if you want to just fall yeah. off, that'd be great, to be honest. Yeah, see, yeah. That, that's more likely. You're going to die from fall damage? Excellent, that's exactly what I wanted. 
Okay, so we've got some pedestals here. And, oh, I see, so there's meant to be a book there, but we haven't got, uh, we have to reveal it, I guess, and that'll be the next chapter. So, we've got pedestals, so let's have a look at those books again, and what they call, can we actually read the books? Do they have, uh, are they actually reading on Apocrypha by Muslims? Oh yeah, we can read them. A writhing mass of heaped appendage, slipping grasp the squirm squirming slick, extended the reach to touch the face, burn the mind, reveal the quick. Okay, well boneless limbs, that's like tentacles, right? So I think we have to match them to the pictures. So then we've got delving pincers, excuse me, can you, um, there we go. Crushing razors, hollow shells, that snap, that twitch, that cinch and rend, to hold the subject bodily till mind blows soft and life meets end. Okay, <laughs> these, these all just kind of sound like a whole lot of word vomit. You know, someone at Bethesda was just like, eh, hey, yeah, that sounds kind of creepy. Yeah, it's good enough, I guess. Gnashing blades, bone extrusions gash and grind in moistened depths of smacking heat, while tearing flesh from averse bone, the body whole prepares to eat. Okay, well, this one is gnashing blades, I think, because it's teeth. Um, yeah, and then prying orbs. What takes the world in light and sense can also seek the outward gleam. They rob the all of essence to report the nothing they have seen. Okay, well, I think that this is... Ah, there we go. I was going to say, how do we get to choose? Yeah, gnashing blades. That is, yeah, that's teeth. So, how many... Where are the other pedestals? They just ran in a big circle, I suppose. What is this one, then? Uh, are they pincers? Who is attacking me? Okay, so we've got a seeker here. Let's deal with the sink seeker. The, not not yeah. the sinker. <laughs> the seeker. Yeah, that's, that's delving pincers because they look like, uh, yeah. you know, well, crab pincers. Is what it looks like, it? So, let's do this one. Yes, delving pincers. Excellent. I did not mean to put my crossbow away there. And what is this one going to be? Okay, that's, that, that's some tentacles. So that's going to be boneless limbs. I've got, got a pod here, let's search that, and some gold, conjure skeleton war warlock, sure, I'll take that, excellent, and the final one is going to be prying orbs, which is the eyes, yeah, there we go, eyes, excellent, does that work? Yeah, there we go, and I think a book has appeared, and what is in this pod, just some yeah, generic loot, wow, a whole load of pods, I sure do like my loot, just not gonna lie, okay, so now we should be able to go further in, what is this, chapter six, yes, excellent, there we go, that's what the books were for, and, I don't know, oh, okay, the, I think the quest marker is changed, so I think we may be in the correct location, which is excellent. The Art of War Magic, excellent. Destruction increase, kind of a waste. Oh, I just took a quill, I think. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, get out of my inventory, you can keep that. You can keep that, I mean, more, I don't want the quill. Okay, is this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the big one. So, I'm just going to do this a little bit. Yeah, in advance, Bend Will. I feel like we're going to need this here. Oh, is this? Oh, I think this is the last thing of Bend Will, actually. There's a word wall over here. And you can see it actually looks different as well. I can't see anyone. <laughs> see, like, which one's which? I don't know. Like, they really are truly invisible when they, they go invisible. I was expecting something else when I walked up here, but maybe I have to kill these guys first? I'm not sure. Well, let's get rid of them anyway. It's so weird. They only, like, sometimes do damage to us as well. See, oh look, there we go, you just, yeah, see, so you can just about see the little black smoky thing, but only sometimes, and it seems yeah. like my bolts go right through them, is that, are they like invincible when they've got the black smokies? I don't know, I can't, I can't even see them, how do I kill something I can't see? <laughs> okay, there we go, we see, it. yeah, I don't know, sometimes it seems to, I don't know if I'm just missing, or if they're, yeah, no, I think I'm just missing, it seems to move pretty quickly. Like, where even- <laughs> I hate these guys, I hate the Seekers so much, I really do, but- Oh, come on, really? No, you did the kill animation and everything, don't tease me like that. Okay, the Seekers are dead, let's go read this word wall. And then, I was expecting someone else. I think this is the last one of Dragon Aspect, I'm pretty sure. Which will be excellent. Yes, indeed it is! Dragon Aspect and Sarota is here. Use the Bend Will Shout to tame Sarota. Okay. Oh no, come on, you interrupted my shout. There we go, Ben Will. Okay, climb aboard and I will carry you to Mirak. He got cut off there, but 
just very quickly, wow, this guy is ugly as hell. Before we do that, I am just going to unlock our final word of dragon aspect. Because that's going to be very useful, and I'm also going to equip that. So, let's ride Sarotar. <laughs> this is so cool, honestly. I mean, riding dragons is one of those things. It's so cool, and I love that they added it in. But it's not really practical. When riding a dragon, you can lock onto a nearby target and attack it with magic. You can also command the dragon to attack your target. Fast travel while riding the dragon by using your world map. For more detailed information, see the help section. Yeah, so obviously we don't use Beware. magic. Beware. Mirak is strong. He knew you would come here. Yeah, so... I don't actually really remember the controls for this. Okay, space for target lock. Grosis. The land below us is empty of prey. Oh, I see. I mean, there's some over, like, to your left, but okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean, what about now? Okay, press 1 and 2 to switch targets. But the thing is, I don't have magic. Like, what if I just equip flames for a second? <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Does that do anything? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. That's, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. We're out of magic anyway. Yeah, I mean, can we just, like, yes, dismount? Yes, Well, gold. I will land at once. Okay, yeah. Can you take, take me to where Mirak is, though? Don't don't land down there. There's, there's no need for that. Trust me. I mean, are you going? I can't even... Why can't I, um... Oh, there we go. Now I can switch around. Yeah, here we go. This is where Mirak is. That's exactly what I want. Good job, buddy. Good so, job. Rota, are you so easily swayed? No, not yet. We should greet our guest first. And so the first Dragonborn meets the last Dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended, he is a fickle master, you know. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power. And thus, subject to my full power. You will die. And with the power of your soul, I will return to soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Will you Prove though? It. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. Okay, let's do some prep. Let's do dragon aspects. Ooh, which looks like this, by the way. Very cool looking. We've got like cool horns. And we need to recharge our crossbow. Black soul gem. Uh, do we have any better bolts? I think we just got steel ones. Dwarven bolts? Yeah, that's going to be better. Okay, and is there anything else we want to do? Uh, do we have any more buffs we could use? Powers? We may as well. This is like the big battle, so... I can draw a werebear, I guess. Um, North Wind. Yeah, why don't we can draw a werebear? Why the hell not, right? There we go, we got a werebear. Yeah. That'll do for now, I suppose. He's using magic, so we're... Um, you know, there's no point really yeah. using Bones of the Earth because he's not gonna he's not doing physical damage to us, I don't think, if it counts. But what we do have yeah. is Dragon Aspect, which is gonna do a whole load of cool stuff. Uh, it's gonna basically boost everything. Ah, I see. Yeah. So he's currently ethereal, which is really interesting actually, because you don't see it very often, but he's essentially he's using the same powers that we have. So he's using Become Ethereal and Whirlwind Sprint you just saw him use as well. And, if you didn't catch that right there, he's killing the dragon and absorbing their soul in order to give them more power. Which is very cool. This web bear is really doing some work, by the way. Keeping him distracted, which is excellent. But yeah, it's, it's always interesting when characters use more powers, because you don't see it very often. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. So, I think he's gonna... Yep, he's gonna kill that dragon now. He's gonna absorb his soul to give him some more power. Uh, Sorotar is... I think Sorotar is still on our side, I think, because he's bent as well. Uh, so I think he's attacking Mirak. Either that or he's trying to attack the Werebear. Okay, the Werebear is done. Uh, but he did a good job. He did a really good job. I don't know why he's warding, because I'm not using... <laughs> I'm using magic. Okay, you've gone ethereal again. Cool, cool, cool whirlwind sprint. Um, oh no, he's killed Sorota. Oh no, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, you were my friend for a bit. That's a shame. But, you know, he's Mirak, I suppose. I mean, he was your friend, Mirak, wasn't he? Why'd you, why'd you kill your dragon friend? I guess, you know, friendship doesn't mean much to you. Oh, look at that, you just used Frost Breath on me. Yeah. yeah, I love it when they, you know, they actually use your own powers against you. That's very interesting, you know, it's very often. Um, oh yeah, look, there you go, that was Fire Breath right there. That's really cool, I love that. How, what shouts have you got, buddy? That was Fire Breath again. 
I love that he doesn't really seem to have cooldowns either. Like, you know what, you never heard of cooldowns, Mirak? Where have you gone now? Huh? Where's he gone? Uh Oh, I see. Get to think to escape me, Mirak. You can hide nothing from me here. Hey, just give me a moment. <laughs> No matter, I have found a new dragon born to serve me. May she be rewarded for her service as I am. <sighs> Mira, harbor fantasies of rebellion against me. Learn from the easy example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. Okay, and we also got a whole load of dragon souls back that Mirak stole from us. And on Mirak's body, we have Mirak increases your ma magicka by 60 points. Uh, dwarf oh, ca uh, carrying too much purple run. Okay. Uh, we'll drop some stuff in a minute, minute. We've got Mirax Boots, adds 5% to the Dragon Breath and Spell Absorption of Mirax Robes. Mirax Gloves, add 5% to the Dragon Breath and Spell Absorption of Mirax Robes. Mirax Sword, absorb 15 points of stamina, which, I mean, look, like, look at how cool the sword is. It's like a tentacle sword. I love it so much. Mirax Staff, sprays writhing tentacles on the ground that stagger and poison foes that enter them. And Mirax Robes, absorb 15% of the magicka from Dragon Breath and Spells. Chance on hit to spawn a tentacle explosion. So another whole set of really unique uh, just effects, and I love it so much. We are, however, uh, very much weighed down. So what can we drop? I think we're just going to drop all of the random stuff we've been picking up, to be honest, because, yeah, we really don't need it, and it's just weighing us down. Let's Yeah, let's just drop all the scrolls. We don't need them. I was just going to sell them anyway, so let's get rid of all of those. Uh, do we have anything... I mean, what is weighing us down, to be honest? It might just be all of our gear, I suppose. Just drop all the gems. Star Rim, don't need that, yeah. Now we're at the end of the Let's Play anyway, so we don't need any of this stuff. Let's just drop all of this. And there we go, we're at 414, so we're all good. And here we have Waking Dreams, the Black Book, which will give us our final reward. Which is this. It will allow us to essentially reset all of our skills. So... Currently, we are level 46, and of course we've got, you know, perks in archery, but say we were done with archery, then we could find the archery tree on here, which is here, and we can clear all our archery perks. We get back, our skill level stays the same, so we'd still be at 95, but we get all the perk points back, so that we can then put them into something else, and it just costs a dragon soul to do that, so, yeah, very, very cool, um, very useful as well. Uh, I do kind of wish that it was, I don't know, maybe it was like two or three Dragon Souls to clear perks, because I do feel like one Dragon Soul is maybe a bit cheap, because, uh, you know, Dragon Souls are easy to get, but I don't know. But yeah, there we go, that is the end of that. So let's head back to Solstheim and see if anyone else has anything to say before we end the Let's Play. I think Freya has something to say, so... Let's see if she does. My son and I gather items to trade with travelers who visit the village. Yeah, cool. It's, it's not about you, hun. Yeah, look at look how cool we look as well. <laughs> I love that. We've got, like, cool ethereal horns. Anyway, did you have anything to say? I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? It's over. Mirak is dead. Then my father's sacrifice, it was not in vain. He died to free us. Tell me, was it the only way? Did he need to die? Hermaeus Mora wouldn't have helped me without Storm's sacrifice. Yes, his help which did not require him to kill my father. Such is the way of Hermamora, the eternal enemy of the Skull. One okay. more thing, Skull friend, if you will. I know it is not my place, but may I offer a word of advice, of warning? 
Sure, what is it? As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down that path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skullfriend. Okay. And there we go. That is the end of this Let's Play. So, I sincerely hope you have all enjoyed uh, watching Finria's journey. I have loved playing Finria. It's a really nice to you know, play a character that I don't usually play. You know, I don't really do two-handed characters, but I have loved every minute of this playthrough. I love being able to you know, choose choices that I don't usually do. So, yes, I hope you have all equally enjoyed the playthrough. The next Skyrim playthrough will be the 100% playthrough, so I'm not sure exactly what day this episode will go up on, but the 100% playthrough will start on whatever the next Monday is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how many episodes I have, but whatever the next Monday is, the 100% playthrough will start. And of course, we'll keep doing Morrowind on the weekend as well. I would like to record more Morrowind because you guys are really enjoying the Morrowind, but Morrowind is a lot harder to fill um, than the than Skyrim because it's just it takes longer because I have to walk everywhere and I have to cut a lot more. Uh, and also, I can't record them back to back like I do with Skyrim because it the game annoys me too much, <laughs> so I start getting salty. So they're harder to record, but I will see if I can maybe throw another Morrowind episode in a week or something. But yeah, that is the end of this playthrough for now. So I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, like it if you did. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Um, we've got the 100% playthrough coming. I'm also thinking of maybe doing a uh, kind of side Oblivion playthrough because I want to play around the magic system, but I don't know. Um, so let me know if you want to see that. Uh, I was thinking of doing like a mage playthrough so we can play with the magic, but let me know. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you in the next series.